Hey all, this video explains how you can separate an APK from the OBB data file for an XAPK. Uh, you need an application called Explore, right? Um, it's a free file manager, it's very useful. Download that, then um, open the application. Navigate to the folder where your XAPK is after you've downloaded it. You'll find here I have League of Stickmen, it's XAPK. You simply click on it, you, I, uh, I think it will ask you for some permissions, the Explorer will ask you for some permissions before it can access, uh, just allow them. If you click on it, it you'll find that it has separated the whole thing it's, into its components. You got the Android, OBB, that file, um, and then you have the application, APK. Um, and you got also uh, an icon for the uh, for the XAPK, it's the it's the image and a manifest. It's a it's a programming file that has some permissions. You don't need that anyway. Um, you also have the option to go ahead and install it automatically. Explorer can do that for you, but if you want the uh, the data file separately or whatever, that's the way to go. Um, you can move this file around, right? You can just move but you need to understand that explorer works in a certain way you need to uh, to specify the place in the right panel right so if i want to put it for example in idm alarms for some reason i've already specified the place and then go to the other pane uh, then you start move it move and it has already moved your application to the place that you have specified as you can see it's right here you can also use that on android obb file which is prohibited to be accessed on android but explore can do that if you allow the permission i've also uh in detail uh put that in another video if you want to check it um that's all for it and i hope this was helpful